Is your little one waking at 5 a.m. every day? Maybe you feel that like you've tried everything to overcome this and you've resigned yourself to the idea that maybe that's just your child and they're an early riser. Well, I can assure you they're not. 5 a.m. is too early. You can definitely get your little one to at least 6 a.m. or beyond. So in this episode, I'm gonna help you uncover why you're getting these 5 a.m. wake-ups and what you can do to fix it. So, this is as easy as one, two, three. Okay, number one, if your little one is consistently waking at 5 a.m., they're overtired. I know, that sounds crazy, right? You think, what? They're, but they're waking up. Surely if they're overtired, they're tired, they're sleepy, they're gonna sleep for longer. Why are they waking? I know, weird, but totally true. Little ones who are overtired are more likely to have difficulty falling asleep or they'll crash out. They might have really wakeful nights or be quite disturbed in their sleep in the night. And you also th see these kinds of things like parasomnia, sleepwalking, sleep talking, even things like night terrors when they're overtired, their sleep's disturbed. And the other one you get is these 5 a.m. wakings. 5 a.m. wake up calls are always gonna be because of some form of overtiredness. So, what can you do? Number two is you've got to spot it. Spot it. Where is this overtiredness coming from? Is it that bedtime is too late or inconsistent and moves around a lot and that because of that they're getting overtired but you know by the time they actually fall to sleep at bedtime they're overtired already. So is it bedtime? Have a look at bedtime. If you can consistently get your little one to sleep somewhere between probably 6.30 and 7.30 p.m., somewhere in that hour, then you're far more likely to be in a good place for a good night's sleep. The other one is naps. I mean, naps can be a really big reason why little ones get overtired. So is your little one getting enough in the way of naps for their age right now? Nap length is one thing. So are they getting enough overall nap in the day, overall nap time in the day? And are they getting those in ideal quantities? Should they be having three naps, two naps, one nap? How is it spread out? Because the nap amounts is also a key factor. It's no good if they ha have enough sleep, but it's all condensed into one, when developmentally they really ought to be spreading that over two. Why? Because then the awake time between sleeps could be too big for them. And if their awake time between sleeps is too big, even if they're getting enough sleep, that awake time is enough to create an overtiredness that could be causing these 5 a.m. wakings. So the nap length and the nap amount are really, really key, as well as those windows of awake time in between sleeps. So have a look at all of those things and the bedtime and see if you can spot it. And if you don't know the ideals, look at our resources because we share this kind of thing and give you a good framework for what it ought to look like roughly at your child's age and developmental stage. Once you know that, you've got something to work towards, then you might just find by solving that, you overcome the overtiredness. And that brings me on to step three, which is to fix it. How do you fix it? So it might be that you need to go, okay, we, we need to do an earlier bedtime. So decide what time the bedtime routine needs to start in order to be saying night night and lights out by a better time that's gonna get your little one to sleep sooner than perhaps they are currently. So that's how you can fix a bedtime running too late. And maybe you're saying, yeah, but we have big battles at bedtime and it takes ages to settle our little one. Well, then we need to look at the sleep onset. And that's another episode. But we also can address that just with getting it that bit earlier before they're overtired and perhaps fighting it. And the naps are just those naps. So that's another way you can fix it. So it really is as easy as one, two, three. It, look at the overtiredness. Identify it first. Once you spot it, spot where exactly and pinpoint it where it's coming from you can then move on to number three and fix it do all of that and bear in mind that it will take a little bit of time to have all of that running smoothly for i would say a good week to 10 days consistently before you're likely to see those 5 a.m wake ups push back out to six or beyond so don't expect an overnight cure to this but fix those things stay with it and you'll overcome those 5 a.m. wakings and actually be able to sleep in yourself till at least 6 a.m., which let's face it, it's early enough anyway. So I hope you found these tips helpful on overcoming these 5 a.m. wake-ups. If you have, please drop us a comment below or um, if you could like and subscribe to us either on the YouTube channel or on the podcast, whichever one you prefer, that would be great because it really helps us to then get this out there and in front of more people who really need these tips and this help with their little one's sleep. 
So until next time, sorry dreams, and I'll see you soon.